crazy West Virginia juke joint bluesy wild man. It's uh, his energy seemed to be very primal, like from the gut. That's why I think he had such appeal. He never. He didn't seem like he thought through anything he did on stage. It was just fly by the seat of your pants and just go for it. And I think a lot of people in this culture are fascinated by people who are able to exhibit such abandon and love of music without pre-calculation or without any thought to like what notes they're playing or whether it's a minor chord or a major chord or even the rhythm. His rhythm was very arrhythmic, but it was beautifully arrhythmic. And um, it just kind of summed up a more naive, simple sound. Why do you think bands like, like the Cramps were, were so drawn to Hassel? Probably for that very same reason. You know, they were coming from like, I don't know, LA or New York. And, you know, there's a lot of posers in big cities. So that people are always attracted to the real deal when they hear it. The abandon, the free spirit, the rebelliousness. Well, my band, my old band, Trailer Bride, played a show with Hassel in Charleston, West Virginia, at the Empty Bottle. No, the Empty Glass, that's the name of the club. Anyway, um, we opened for Hassel, and while we were, or before we started playing, everybody was saying, Jess goes here, Jess goes here, Jess goes here, and I'm like, Who's Jesco? I didn't know at the time who Jesco White was. And Jesco's a big friend of Hassel's, and he's just as famous as Hassel. And uh, anyway, Jesco was there with his whole family. They were all wearing tap dance shoes, and they all got up and danced. And Jesco was on stage dancing with us, and we had a high heel good time. Then Hassel got up and played and played a killer set on his own and Jesco danced with him as well. And um, he's, a dance, he's a dancing outlaw. And afterwards, uh, I got Hassel to sign my guitar and my lead guitar player, Scott, was so jealous because he wanted to get Hassel. Anyway, you know, why is Hassel famous? He's famous because he's a crazy West Virginia wild man that sings it, he used to sing it from his heart, you know. And, and uh, well, I was talking to Hassel after that show, and he gave me his phone number, and we swapped phone numbers. And um, you know, a week or two later, and for several weeks anyway, Hassel would call me at like 3 a.m. and say, "Melissa, I got a song for you. I want you to sing it." <laughs> and then he'd proceed to sing it to me over the phone. <laughs> and um, my husband at the time was like, "Who the hell is calling you at 3 a.m.?" And I'm like, "Oh, it's Hassel Atkins. He's..." singing me a song he wants me to sing and like of course that didn't go over very well but um because he had never seen Hassel but anyway that's my Hassel story actually his songs over the phone were great and I wish I could have recorded them I really do I wish I'd had one of those you know suction cup you know surveillance things to to have you know recorded those for posterity because he was clearly flying high when he was singing them and just kind of